Last year I showed you how you could take an existing set of blinds and set up the My Smart Blinds Automation Kit to fully automate the blinds. I also showed you how you could buy the brand new set of blinds from My Smart Blinds to have those in your home and how to set them up. But today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the My Smart Blinds bridge that will give you voice assistant functionality to your smart blinds using Alexa or Google Assistant. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. First, I wanna give a thank you to My Smart Blinds as they provided me with the automation kits and some of the blinds in today's video, as well as providing me with the new bridge so that I could add voice control to my blinds. Inside the box here, we have the bridge. So this will connect directly to my Wi-Fi and then connect to my blinds via Bluetooth. On the side, you have an ambient sensor to adjust the lighting depending on the lighting in the room. On the back of the device, there are two places where you would be able to mount this with two screws. Inside the box, you also get a 1.5 meter micro USB cable, as well as the power brick to power the bridge. So let's plug this in and get it set up. Once you plug in the bridge, you then need to head into the My Smart Blinds application, whether you're using Android or iOS. First, you need to go to the menu in the top left of the application, then select bridge, and then it will begin searching for a bridge. Once it found the bridge, it then asked me to update the firmware. Once the update finished, I then needed to select add again. It then asked me to type in my bridge name. I'm gonna call this my smart bridge. And then it asked me which Wi-Fi network I want to connect to. I typed in my password, and then I successfully completed connecting the bridge to my Wi-Fi. So how this works is this will connect to my Wi-Fi, and then it will also connect to the blinds via Bluetooth to be able to control them when I'm home or even when I'm away, I will now have that functionality. Now that we have the bridge all set up, they will automatically connect to my existing My Smart Blinds that I've already set up. So now we need to go in and add our different assistants um, via their own applications. So first, let's head into the Amazon Alexa application. Now we need to add a skill. So select the menu at the top left, go under the skills tab, and then we need to type in my smart blinds, find the skill, and then select enable. Once you do this, you will then need to sign into the My Smart Blinds account and grant access for your Amazon Alexa to be able to access My Smart Blinds. Once you have added that skill, it then gives you a few different directions on how to control the blinds. So first, I do wanna mention that you are only able to control each room or control all the blinds at once. There is no way to control a specific blind. So let's try it out. Alexa, ask my smart blinds to close the kitchen. Okay, closing three blinds in kitchen. So here you can see the bridge is changing its lights and then it will begin to close the blinds. Now to open them up, we would use a very similar command, but saying open this time. Alexa, ask my smart blinds to open the kitchen. Okay, opening three blinds in kitchen. Now, depending on where you put the bridge, you may experience different time it takes to um, control the blinds. Now it is recommended that if you have blinds in multiple rooms, that you put this in a central location for those rooms. I did move it all the way to the basement in a far corner and it wasn't able to control the blinds in here. So having it central, I had a much better experience. Another command I can use is asking my smart blinds to open all the blinds or close all the blinds and that will close and open everything that I have in the home. Now let's move on to setting up Google Assistant. So first you need to head into the Google Home application and then you are going to click the accounts page on the far right side of the tab. In here, you're going to select settings and then you're going to go under the services tab, scroll down to the bottom and select explore. Under here, this is where you will search for My Smart Blinds. Once you find it, open it up and then select link and this is where you will sign into your My Smart Blinds account. Now, once you have done that, here it's giving you a few different directions on what you can say to your Google Assistant to be able to do that. So now that you've done that, everything should be set up. And again, um, you have the same experience when talking to the Google Assistant as you did with Alexa. All right, now that we have that link to our Google Assistant, let's try it out on our Google Home device. Hey Google, ask my smart blinds to close the kitchen. 
Okay, here's my smart lines. Okay, closing three blinds in kitchen. Just like that, it was able to close the blinds. Now, a few times it wasn't able to understand that I said my smart blinds, and so I had to ask it again, or you could say talk to my smart blinds, or you could say tell my smart blinds, and then it will ask what room you want it to change, and then if you want to open or close them. Hey Google, ask my smart blinds to open the blinds in the kitchen. Okay, let's get my smart blinds. Okay, opening three blinds in kitchen. And there it worked with no problem. Now, another recommendation I would say is with the Google Assistant, you can actually set up different routines so that you could just say, close the kitchen blinds, and then with that little command, it would be able to go in and close the blinds. So is how you do that is you head into the routines in the front page of the Google Home application, select edit routines, and then add a new routine. So the first thing that you will add is what you will say to activate the routine. So here I'm gonna say, close the kitchen blinds. Once you do that, select save. And then here you're going to select what Google Assistant will actually action. So then here we're gonna say, ask my smart blinds to close the blinds in the kitchen. Then we can select save. And now that we've created that routine, all I need to do is ask my Google Assistant that one simple command and it will be able to control those. So now that we have a routine set up, you would need to add a different routine if you want it open or closed, but now I can use that simplified phrase and ask my Google Assistant to adjust the blinds. Hey Google, close the kitchen blinds. All right, let's get my smart blinds. Closing three blinds in kitchen. So there I had a much smaller command and was able to adjust the blinds. Hey Google, ask my smart blinds to open all the blinds. All right, here's my smart blinds. Okay, opening four blinds in two rooms. So there you go. With the new My Smart Blinds Bridge, you do have access to use Google Assistant as well as Alexa to control your blinds. Now, other different smart products do require a hub. These products don't require a hub, but if you want the access to the Google Assistant and your Amazon Alexa, you do need to have the bridge. Another benefit of having this bridge is that you will be able to access your blinds away from home. So if it's an extra hot day, you wanna close the blinds again, you can just do that right from the application or talking to the different apps um, to be able to do that. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is that even without the bridge, you can still do in-app scheduling, sun tracking, solar charging, automatic battery alerts, energy savings, and on-demand control. Now in today's video, I was using the display models of the different assistants, but if you only have like an Echo Dot or a Google Home Mini, you will still be able to interact with your My Smart Blinds and the bridge. So if you guys have any further questions about the My Smart Blinds bridge or the My Smart Blinds products in general, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see my full videos about how to set them up to your existing blinds or add new blinds to your home, make sure you check out the videos here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.